in my continuing tradition to try and pull things apart only to slam them back together again, let's talk about the relationship between all the different access structures and if in fact there's really only one access structure. Is it the case that associations are the only access structure and that all other access structures are really just different variations on that theme of, of associations? So uh, uh, we came across earlier in the, um, in the topics, we came across the idea of a thesaurus and how we could crunch all of the relationships of that thesaurus down into a single attribute called relationship. And that relationship had a type and it was associating one item, one, one topic, excuse me, one term in the thesaurus to other terms in the thesaurus and it could be representing a hierarchical relationship, it could be re representing an associational relationship it could have been representing an indexical or even a, um, a sequential relationship. Those are all possibilities for what that same single element could have represented. So let's look at it this way. Um, oh, by the way, I've, also, right, I've already talked about this, um, this uh, topic one time and I kind of cautioned you away from it, but that was a little bit earlier in the course. I said, we don't want to think of associations as links. Why? Because everything on the web is a link whether it's a hierarchy or a sequence or a cross-reference or uh, an index, it's all links, right? It, it all boils down to an A, href something or other on the web. So don't get confused and don't start thinking of associations as links. I wanted you to pull those apart in your mind. But now I'm ready to slam them back together again. I'm ready to say that maybe it is all links. Maybe there's nothing in any of these access structures except a link, a link between one item and another item. And that link can be a hierarchical link. So I can think of two items, one's the parent and one's the child. They have a certain association between them. One is associated to the other. How is it associated? One is the parent of the other. So I create an association and I say this association is of type hierarchy or type parent. Now I have an association and the association is just an association, but it's representing a hierarchical relationship. Or let's take an index. I can say here I have a term and this term is related, point to point related, to five items of information. Term over here in the index, five items of information over here in the info base, and it's a relationship. The relationship is a association between that term and five items of information. Haven't I indexed those five items of information by creating those point to point, those associative relationships? Let's look at sequences. The, the type of relationship between one item and the next in a sequence is it's the next item or it's the previous item. And so it's again a point to point relationship. It's an association. It's a single kind of relationship, an association. And it does the job of creating the, um, of creating the sequence. And of course, we already know that an association can create an associative relationship, right? So is that all we have then? Just associations? And to drive the point home a little more even, I have on the screen here some random pictures, or it's not, they're not random, they're very carefully chosen, but as far as you're concerned, they might be random, pictures of brains and how the human brain works. The human brain fundamentally, people believe as well, works via associations. We have these point-to-point -point connections between neurons in your brain and the point-to-point -point connections define the relationships between not only one anatomical region and another anatomical region, but between concepts between one part of a memory and another memory that it triggers, between maybe your notion of a mother and your notion of a baby, between your notion of a term and all the words that fall under those terms. So it's even more provocative to look at this from the standpoint of the way you're organized neurologically. Neurologically, you're organized by a set of associations as well. So we'll leave the neurological metaphor there for a moment and return to the implications. So I hopefully I've, I've kind of convinced you that you can boil any of these relationships down to one kind of access structure, the association. And the association can be thought of as kind of the most fundamental thing under all of these other relationships. Now the question is, so what? So does that mean that we should throw away all the other kinds of relationships and only have, a and only have associations and look at everything as an association? And I would say while it is, to my mind at least, undeniably true that you can reduce all access structures to associations, it is not the case that you should reduce all access structures to associations because these access structures, the idea of a hierarchy, has more to it than simply the idea of a parent 
related to a child. And when we group all of those parents and children together, we get something that is actually bigger and different. More, you know, more, it has features that an association doesn't have. It has lineage in it. You don't have lineage in an association. An association is a point-to-point -point link from one item to another item, and that does not give you the idea of lineage. Lineage comes about when you have multiple items all interconnected. So the network of items, all of those items interconnected, gives rise to some features that aren't explained simply by the associations. So the higher level, the kind of the higher order access structure called a hierarchy has an existence in and of itself apart from just the fact that it's a group of associations. So the long and the short of this is, I want you to understand this at a deeper level. I want you to understand that we can decompose relationships, we can decompose access structures into this fundamental one, but that doesn't mean that the higher order ones, the ones that are more sophisticated, go away. An index is an index, not because it relates a term to a bunch of items, but because it relates all of those terms to each other as well, and it gives you a comprehensive feeling for the information base. So at the same time, all access structures are just, um, all access structures are just uh, associations, but so what? And in the same sense, I think you can say your mind is just a bunch of neurons that are connected by associations, but so what? Does that mean that our minds are simply a bunch of neurons that are connected? Same thing happens in our brains. We are more than just the combination of a lot of associations from neuron to neuron. And, uh, and the same thing occurs or the same thing obtains when we're talking about access structures.